everyone and welcome back to I Love Editorix. In the last tutorial I show you how to create a text scale um, and I use this website to show you how to do it but I want to share with you a small tip that I have uh, how to overcome the limitation that uh, the currently there is with Editorix that you cannot add uh, styling to the text element um, so it's really really simple I'm using Velo for this uh, just saying and I will show you how to do it so if we will go to the editor uh, you can see that I cannot add a stroke to the I, I cannot add um, a shadow to the text or any other styling extra styling so the way to do it is actually really simple so the first thing I need to do I need to uh, open my dev mod and select the text that I want to manipulate the design so I will change this um, its ID to let's say uh, hero you know what I said uh, page title right so now I in the code I will call it so page title and now it's really important there is uh, two options to change uh, the text of this element so that text will change the text itself uh, but you cannot set any design to this text it's actually the text itself so this is why we need to use HTML HTML okay so it's equal to what so here is the magic so you will go to the live site after you publish the site and you need to inspect this element so how you do it basically you go over this element right click inspect and you will see that uh, where is it okay I didn't find it so I click this uh, arrow and select the text element and I'm hovering not the span but the parent the h1 or paragraph or whatever all right and simply I click these three dots copy copy other HTML okay and I will go right here and I will paste it sorry I need I will add a uh, uh, back tick and paste it all right so right now let's see what it does basically it should do it should do nothing because we said you are uh, uh, I mean I replace you by you okay so you can see that it does nothing so right now we can add our styling so let's select this text and here on the element style I, I want to add a, uh, a shadow to this text so it's CSS property called text shadow text shadow and it's go like this we have the X the Y the blur and the color black all right so if I play with these uh, values I can set 10 10 you, you can see the shadow right and I can add opacity to it or uh, blur to it all right so this is like really strong and I can play with the opacity of the black right here all right so this is how you create a uh, text shadow yeah, from the inspect panel um, so just to see if it's working I will copy this all right uh, command C and I will go to the editor itself and right here inside after the the HTML tag I will add style uh, style wait style equals and I will paste it text shadow and this is my uh, settings okay what I just did and now let's publish it 
and let's go to the live site I will reload the site I will reload it and you can see that I still have the text scale reload all right so same way you can change uh, I don't know for example I can set uh, color equals to uh, blue all right and I will publish it and let's refresh it let's refresh it come on why well, it's not happening oh sorry it should be this way and let's refresh it again and it's blue all right um and if you will inspect it again you can see that the h1 now has sh uh, text shadow and color shadow which which is injected uh, css which is of which is overcome the the editor property so i want to create a very light shadow so i will do uh, something like this two pixels uh, two pixels and zero and is and the black should be solid so like this and now it's just pop up my uh, my text so I will change th this value and actually you can you can play with different values I just show you how the, the basics how it's work okay so if I reload the site again Oh, I forgot the blue. So let's remove the blue. Color blue. Publish again. And we have our light shadow. You can see right here. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Keep building amazing site on Adirix.